Hey, it's Lemon. Welcome back to the Backlogs. Do you guys like horror games? I know I don't, but that's too bad, because it's October, and it's the only time of year where I feel obligated to play anything even remotely scary. Assuming you read the title, you know what's up. We're gonna try and beat Dead Space 1 with just a flamethrower. I'm gonna tell you right now, this run hurts, which means you're all in for a good time. Oh god, alright, let's get this over with. Hmm, let's go with medium, since that's probably the way the devs intended the game to be experienced. This. This right here. This is the moment where I should have stopped and reevaluated my life. Because here's the thing. Increasing the difficulty means the enemies have more health, there's less ammo, and there's less health pickups for me. The flamethrower, unlike pretty much every other weapon in the game, does not have cutting capabilities. And cutting limbs off of enemies is the entire gimmick of the game. Lemon, what are you doing? Pick easy. Picky. Oh, God damn it! Well, while the game loads, let's go over the rules. We'll keep it simple. First, the only methods of damage I'm allowed are the flamethrower and, in dire situations, the kinesis module. As a caveat, if an enemy forces me to melee them by grappling me, any melee damage it takes from me escaping its grip is its own fault. Second, whenever possible, I need to avoid using any other tools to solve puzzles and other problems. And third, I have to complete the game. Not too bad, right? Wrong! Equis! F minus minus! This weapon doesn't just suck at cutting limbs, it... Just, just roll the footage. I'm sorry. I'm sorry about everything. I wish I could just talk to someone. I don't belong apart here. I can't believe what's happening. Terrifyingly, that line right there was foreshadowing to how this entire run is about to go. Gonna need you to tone it back on the meta there, Nicole. Guess you really miss her. Hmm, not really. I was kind of glad to be done with this game after I beat it for the first time, honestly. Sounds like you do have a lot of catching up to do. But how did... What did I just say about being meta? You're gonna need to boost the signal if their power's low. Yes, we know. Boost the signal. Oh my god, Captain, calm down. Your insecurity is showing. Oh god. Oh god, I wanted to die surrounded by my loved ones, not you buffoons! Is everyone okay? What? What the hell were you thinking? Were you trying to get us killed? I just saved our asses, Miss Daniels. If we had aborted at that speed and distance, we'd have smashed right into the side of the Ishimura. Now settle down, let's get to work. Man, you guys have some real chemistry. The fuck was that? Did you just mean mug me? Well, I've played enough horror games to know how this is going. Excuse me, pardon me, speedrunner coming through. I guess the power's down everywhere. Isaac, get over here and hack the door pad. Hack the door pad? Yeah, sure, let me just think really hard at the door. Oh shit, that worked. But that security console's still alive. Isaac, log in and see what you can find. Uh, yeah, that's what I'm trying to do. There we go. Huh, that doesn't look good. She's taking a lot of damage. Yeah, you can say that again, Discount Steve Buscemi. Oh god, here we go. Jesus, Steve Buscemi, no! Alright, well, I'm fucking out of here. Gah! God damn it! No! Oh god, it's all over my suit. Oh look, my first weapon. Good thing I can't use it. Let me just smash this here. There we are. Open says me. Uh, close says me. Close says me! Isaac, <laughs> we ran to more of them on the way over here. Oh, did you? Now we have to get to the bridge. But first, we gotta repair the tram system. Give me overtime and we'll talk. You fix the tram, and I'll help you find Nicole. No deal. No, Hammond, I said no deal. Ah, screw it. You know, after a few hours, the incessant banging almost becomes soothing. Okay, fix the trams, fix the trams. There's one. There's, uh, something else. Okay, all fixed. Open the door. Open the door. Kendra? What? Why the sudden streak? Oh, hi. No, thank you. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Uh, sorry, no room. Really? No, yeah, that's fine. Come on in, I'll just hang out on the floor here. All right, let's give this another go. Oh, Jesus Christ. Open, 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 close, close, close. Okay, first try. Oh God, okay, here we go. Excuse me? Excuse me? Okay, it's just two. I could scoot past two. Four is a bit much though. This is fine, this is fine. Man, it's almost peaceful after that. Wait, what was that? Ah, oh, God, I jinxed it! 
Oh, thank God, the ship. All right, fuck everyone else. I'm getting the hell out of here. How do you fly this thing? Uh, oh God, fire. Monsters, fire. Boo! Uh, it, it was like that when I got here. Oh, come on. How did you get in here? Guys, can I call you back? Safety, safety, safety. All right. Chapter one down. Only 11 more to go. All right, what have we got? Uh, hello? Nothing to be afraid of. <laughs> oh. Uh. Hmm. Yeah, I'm just gonna take this. Thanks. Better test it real quick. Hey, look, it works! <gasps> there is a god! And I even have enough money for it! Ooh, can't buy ammo, though. That's gonna be a problem. Well, better make these 125 shots count. Do, 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 do. Oh, come on, really? My singing wasn't that bad. Oh, you mean those. Haha, -ha, take uh, th this and, and this, I guess? I have no idea what I'm doing. Oh, you have to burn the individual limbs, I see. I mean, you can burn the torsos, but it doesn't do jack shit. God, look how tiny the aimer is. Why is this weapon so specific about where it hits? <laughs> well, that was fun. All right, where are we going here? Oh, wow, someone alive. Oh, God damn it, I jinxed it again, didn't I? Sorry, buddy. I'm sure he's fine, so is it cool if I just go back the way I came, or... Crap, I shouldn't have messed around, it's hiding now. Oh, there you are. What the? Ah, not the helmet! Not the helmet! <laughs> oh my god, I just punted that thing. <laughs> Wait, stop. I can't aim if I'm not serious. Oh yeah, this thing has a secondary fire. I have to play around with that one. Well, I've got money, that's not a problem. But I can't spend it on anything until I find the ammo blueprint. Unless... Ah, here we go. Let's power you up some. The only thing I really want is the damage. Everything else is nice, but if baddies don't burn, I doubt a faster reload speed is gonna save me. Let's see, the flat end goes in the... No, okay. Maybe it was upside down? Okay, Isaac, you're an engineer. Come on now. There we go. Just need to press B again. This was clearly designed by an engineer. Oh yeah, this game has zero gravity sections. Well, judging by George here, I think it's working. Uh, oh god, my old man Vertigo is kicking in. So fun fact, fire requires oxygen. And if there's no oxygen, you can't make with the burning. So whenever we go out into space, we are completely and utterly defenseless. Oh, uh, sorry, elevator's full. Would you not? Honestly, some people. Can't catch me, I'm the cinnamon. Can't catch me. Oh, oh, oh god, it, the fuck? It's in my brain. I, cinnamon. I will say, it's kind of amazing how much of the game you can just run past if you're willing to throw all caution to the wind. It almost becomes a slightly more hostile than usual day at the office. Hey, Bob, how you doing? Coffee maker's on the fritz again. Oh, great, these things. Just what I needed, harder enemies. No, that's fine. Go ahead and make more. I don't mind. It's not like I have no ammo or anything. And it's a lockdown, too. Cool. Well, I've got 98 flames to solve this problem. How hard can it be? All right, hold up. Time to Encyclopedia Brown this shit. Put you over here. Put you over here. And for good measure, let's give this secondary fire some more love. Please die. Please die. Please die. Please die. Thank you. Jesus wept. That part sucked. You made me cry. Whew. Okay. Chapter three. Gah. Don't do that. Let's see. Lore. Lore. <gasps> Hello, beautiful. I've missed you. Look, Paul, you can get up. I know it's you. Terrible office prank, buddy. 
Tell you what, Paul. I'll give you my parking space if you can throw your limb all the way across the room. Huh? Idiot. Just need to make it to a store and we're in the clear. Oh, come on. Oh, come on! All right, then. Ugh, come on, man. Not this again. Come on, then. What? Is there cake in the break room or something? Oh, uh, no thank you. So this is my life now, huh? Christ. All right, screw it. We're going for it. Open. Open! Mm -hmm. Great. Decontamination. It's not like I only have 52 flames or anything. Well, that's it. No more ammo. Guess we're down using Steve here. Uh, here. And here. And, oh, hi, Steve. Uh, and here. Finally. Yeesh. Let's see. Go up the wall, onto the ceiling. Oh, come on. Can't a guy zero grab in peace? Here, hold this for me. <laughs> Holy shit. Well, that was fun, but I guess we better... Oh, God. Oh, God. Let go. Let go. I'll have the report done on Tuesday. Whew. Okay, then. Uh-huh. Yep. Oh, thank God, a store. Oh, come on. You're still here? Okay, chapter four. God damn it. I told you to stop doing that. Finally, store. Sell all this and buy all this. That's better. Much better. Let's go. Looks like we go this way. Um. Um. Nope, 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 nope. Nope, 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 nope. <laughs> Monday, am I right? I need a new job. Isaac, you're going to have to cross the ship exterior to reach the ADS cannon. Oh, yeah? Problem is, we're still getting bombarded by asteroids. Oh, yeah? Look for cover, or you'll get torn to pieces. Sure, no problem. Isaac, go outside. Isaac, fix the trams. Isaac, go die repeatedly. Why doesn't Kendrick get these kind of jobs? Oh, crap. I remember this part. Let's see. Kind of jerky. Let me switch over to my mouse and keyboard. Yeah! PC Master Race! PC Master Race! PC Master Race! Chapter 5. Okay. Almost halfway there. Hammond? You there? Oh, thank God. Okay, let's... God damn it! Oh, my God. God, what are you? This guy. This enemy type right here. This thing is the bane of my existence. Not only does it spit out more enemies that do damage and are really hard to hit with a flamethrower, but doing damage to its limbs is also really tricky. And yes, you could try to aim the flames at the bodies of both of these enemies, but you might as well be emptying your fuel tank on the ground for how little damage it does. Thankfully, we've got Kinesis. Here, hold this for me. No, move out of the way. Move out of the... Are you fucking serious? Why would you... Ah! I'm not above a cheap shot. Round two. Oh, hey dude, are you the plot? Yeah, no, sorry, I'm busy. Maybe come back on Tuesday? Ugh, okay, fine, plot time it is. Hug. No, thank you, hard pass. Oh god, this is another quarantine section, isn't it? All right, time to die repeatedly. Uh-huh. 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 Hey, Sarah, how's the family? All right, good talk. Doing fine. Need capitalism. Must engage in bear market. Whew, okay, halfway done. Almost there, Lemon, almost there. Oh, hey Hammond. I was wondering what happened to you when you didn't scare me when I got off the tram. Good to see you in one piece. I gotta look at it. <coughs> it's huge, you won't believe it. Wait, what are we talking about? Oh, and for those of you that have probably been yelling at your screen this entire time now, yes, I did eventually figure out that the secondary fire on this gun is supposed to be used for traps and not direct damage. More importantly though, I also learned that you can't fire a flamethrower in the poison gas areas. Don't ask me why. So, this entire chapter is going to rely heavily on Kinesis. Great. Can't wait. Good news though, fire ammo is just as effective if you physically huck it at enemies. So that's neat. This game is kind of dumb sometimes though. Explosives? No. Bodies? No. Paper cups? Yeah, sure, that's fine. Throwing big stuff is fun, though. Well, fun for me, anyway. Oh, God, not again. That's the right way, huh? All right, let's figure this out. 
They don't have any explosives, but regular objects work all right. Or they would if it weren't for these damn tentacles everywhere. Running past is a bit of a no-go, and trying to carry an explosive from a few rooms away is apparently illegal. I even tried to use stasis on it while I was hiding all of its limbs, but that doesn't work. I was stuck on this damn encounter for like an hour before I finally just gave up and spent a huge chunk of ammo just roasting it alive. Made of my existence, I'll tell you what. I abused this poor soul a bit, did the same to this guy, and then came to this guy here. Puff the Magic Dragon here was smart enough to hide where my pieces of trash can't hit him. And after very carefully bringing down several explosives in an OSHA-approved manner, I learned the hard way that explosives are just as useless as anything else. Eventually, I figured out the angle and got a lucky hit. Why do I do this to myself? After killing the last mouth breather by literally throwing my wallet at him, I finally made it to one of the few bosses this game has. And got stuck. You're supposed to cut the tentacles, but, you know, fire. And my flames struggle to reach them more often than not. Eventually, I just decided to get as close as possible to do what little damage I could, and use the environment a bit to get the boss to phase two. This part is easy enough. Grab the projectiles, return to sender, and, you know, aim. Then comes phase three, which is one and two combined. Little trick here, considering the tentacles love to get in the way. My main problem with this fight is just how long it took. It took upwards of 10 minutes to get enough damage to get him to the end, which sucks if you die. But as with all things, my patience paid off eventually. Another chapter down. Also worth mentioning, we can finally top off our flamethrower as far as damage goes, which changes the flame to a nice blue color. Good news all around. Blah, 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 story, 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 Nicole's already dead, so I'm just gonna focus on the enemies that are actually attacking me. Oh. <laughs> well, now she really is dead. Anyway, I get to the asteroid we need to launch into space, and it takes me a bit longer than I care to admit to remember how to release it. Oh, right, there are two more in space. That might be a problem. Definitely should have tried this inside where it was easier to recharge my stasis. I tried multiple times to make this work, but I wasn't having any luck, and I really didn't want to run all the way back inside every 60 seconds just to recharge my stasis and air supply. So eventually, I gave in to time crunch and shot the gears with the plasma cutter. Kinda sucks, and was probably doable, but I didn't think to test my theory on the easier gears until it was too late. Someone else can figure out if this works or not, I'm not too tore up about it. Moving right along, wait for it, wait for it, there it is! Jeez, you're louder than usual, what gives? Oh, come on, there's two of you? Finally. Good lord. This is what being an engineer is actually like, right? Just kind of throwing things across the room willy-nilly until it works? The hell is that? Oh, God, I hate the way it moves. No, 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 no! You know, you'd think they'd get tired of this little jump scare after almost nine times in a row. Guess not. Strings? Why strings? Tony? Is that you? Thanks, I hate it. No like. Too fast. No like! Oh, great, another quarantine room. Guess it's time for another round of how much ammo? Where the question is always how much ammo I have available, and the answer is always not enough. Cue the montage. And I'm out again. Please just die. Holy crap, really? Man, right on the money. Why does every ship I touch explode? Oh, hey Hammond. What? I can't hear you. The glass! I can't hear you! Oh, oh crap. Hammond! I'll save you! Hammond's dead, but hey, at least this means we won't get jump scared by him anymore. Ugh, God, right, you're still here. What, uh, what's going on here? This one of those raves I keep hearing about? Cause, gotta say, I don't get the appeal. God, I hope they don't all get up. They're all getting up! Oh, thank God, the tram. Go! Activate! Word! Oh yeah, I also found a new friend. He really likes the marker. Like, really likes it. Oh good, you're showing me a YouTube video about it now. Thanks. Well, I got the marker. Maybe now he'll shut up about it. All right, let me just, oop, watch out space baby. All right, let me just put this here. 
There. Enjoy your marker. I'm coming, I'm coming. Hold your... Oh. Well, we're not letting Kendra get away that easily. Come on, Klein. We're going on an adventure. All right, I lost Klein. But I got the marker back. That's basically the same thing, if we're being honest. Come on, Klein. We're still going on an adventure. Just got to get you to the other side here. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. All right, come on, buddy. We can speed run it. Let's go. There, see? Just got to dodge the meat tentacles. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Hmm. Okay. Might need to slightly alter the strategy here. All right, here's the plan. Run to the end. Let the tentacles do the heavy lifting. Break the last one since they've outlived their usefulness. And grab Klein for a mad dash to the finish line. And there we go. Now we just need to press the button and we can leave. Wait, what's glowing red? Is it supposed to do that? Klein? I didn't pay attention to the videos you were showing me. Is this normal? Yeah, I'm sure it's fine. Let's get out of here. Now what? Kendra. Kendra. No, really? Now hold on a minute. What about all those times you scared me coming off the tram? Kendra? Kendra! Ah, uh, whatever. You'll get yours. Besides, it's time to focus on our final challenge, the hive mind. While Kendra warms up the boss for us, let me explain what we're up against. This bad boy has three phases, all of which are absolutely not meant for the flamethrower. Good job, by the way, Kendra. You did great. First phase, break the yellow pustules. Easy enough, in theory. With the flamethrower, you have to get right up in there, and if you're lucky, one blast of concentrated flame will be enough direct damage, with the follow-up damage over time finally popping it. Pop three of them and you get to phase two, where the hive mind decides to take our relationship to the next level. The main problem, as I'm sure you're seeing, is that the flamethrower doesn't have the range. And by the time the hive mind brings me into range, I don't have enough time to pop the pustules before being used as a toothpick. That's not the only problem either. The hive mind doesn't really know how to approach damage over time, and sometimes just glitches out and doesn't react to its pustules breaking. Which leads to moments like this, where I have nothing left to break and just have to accept my fate. Or moments like this one, where it refuses to even go to phase two, so I just have to let it murder me so I can reset. Eventually, though, the hive mind plays by the rules, and I use the flamethrower's alt fire to actually make it to phase three. The hive mind spits enemies at me, but the flamethrower actually excels at this part, since they're always the swarm enemies. After that, we just lob some fireballs into its chest cavity, dodge its projectiles like a pro, and finish it off with a few final bursts. Okay, all done. Now get me off this stupid rock. What the? Locked? Password required. Please! Password accepted. Oh, wow, really? Uh, but whatever, think about that later. Let's get out of here. Please don't blow up. Please don't blow up. Please don't blow up. Please don't... <laughs> okay. We did it. We beat the challenge, and I played a spooky game. That's enough October for me. Hope you all enjoyed that more than I did, and I'll see you all again soon.